Well, we freaking we're hungry. Made it. Oh, starving. <laughs> Can it. I just say that this happens to me every single time I go to do a class at a new location? I'll be in my rental car or whatever. I just and I'll be like, yeah, I'll just wait until I'm like, eh, 20, 30 minutes from the track. And every single time, when you get 20 or 30 minutes from a track, there's nothing around. So then I just starve myself all day long. All right, so we're pulling in the sand lot. We're doing a class today. We're way out in the middle of nowhere. Although we're, we're near the beach. I think it's way out in the middle of nowhere if you're coming from the east coast of Florida. Does this look like the middle of nowhere to you? <laughs> this is a track. <laughs> oh my God. Where do we go? I've never pulled into a track and then not been able to find it. I actually still don't see a dirt bike track. I see mounds of dirt over there. No, that's not it. Is the track there or is it there? Gotta be it's got to be there because this tracks massive so you would know. yeah tracks are that way tiki bar and tiki bar we could run some side by sides oh that would be a blast that actually would be fun there's trails and stuff. oh man there oh there it, there it is there's the track hey guys can I tell you a little bit about the chair you've been seeing in many of my videos recently this is the mavix m9 gaming chair in white recently i've been spending a lot of time in my office sitting down editing these youtube videos and the number one thing i look for is a chair that has customizable options to tailor it to me coming from a motocross background i have a lot of injuries i always have something nagging whether it be lower back or upper back or legs the dvl system on this chair the dynamic variable lumbar system allows you to adjust for lower back support to tailor it to yourself every adjustment you can think of this chair has from armrest height to recline angle to headrest angle absolutely everything that i wanted to adjust on this chair to make it comfortable to sit in for hours at a time this chair had it the bottom of the seat never gets hot when you're sitting on it it stays cool stays comfortable and again you can sit in this thing for hours at a time and i know all about that at this point editing these youtube videos for you guys I spend a lot of time in this chair whether you guys are students that are doing your work from home now whether you work in the office whether you play video games a lot this chair having the cool gel m foam having the dvl system it really does separate this chair from the rest of its competition I urge you guys to click the link in the description, go to mavix.com slash AJMavix and use code AJMavix, that's M-A-V-I-X, for a free foot rest. Initial thoughts. I can't really see it from here other than the fact that it looks like just mountains of dirt. Tell you what, this is probably the coolest place. I mean, look at there's a freaking trampoline on a lake with tiki huts at a motocross track. This is gonna be awesome. And what's cool is a lot of the students here. How are you looking? Am I looking okay? You look, lo you look lovely. A lot of the students here today, even if they're familiar with the track, haven't ridden the main track. Cause I think during the week, it's during the week, the main track not normally open, right? So a lot of the guys haven't ridden the big track yet. Should be good. I know there's some big jumps. Rod Bell isn't here. Yeah. yeah. Rod Bell's fired already. Yeah, he's we starting off strong. <laughs> We're out here. I Sandlot, Sandlot MX, right? I have no idea. I didn't even have to ask you a question. You're just talking already. All right, all right. I was just gonna say, is this your first class? No, I've actually taught two or three classes, but they were like I volunteered, so it wasn't. It's more of a volunteer to help people out. So this is kind of the same thing. AJ texted me last last night about it. So <laughs> that's pretty normal. Uh, first time teaching a class with AJ. What do you think of this place? I want to ride. <laughs> Dude, same. Did you bring a bike? I have AJ's bike in my car, so I'll probably ride that. Is it cool? I it haven't is, looked at it. I mean, it is insane. It looks bro. sick. I actually don't even know like where the track goes, but it's, it's pretty incredible. I can't imagine what some of these people are thinking riding this for the first time because I would be scared. Like this is as pro as a pro track gets. These jumps are big. <laughs> so big from this angle. I'd be intimidated. I'll tell you that much. I mean, because it's so different outdoors with outdoor suspension is a completely different animal and especially in sand. 
it's not as forgiving. If you case an obstacle or you overshoot an obstacle in sand, it's gonna suck that bike in. So it's really easy to get tossed into a position you don't wanna be in. Yeah, so we're about to teach these guys how to hit this corner. I think they can learn a lot because it's a standing roller corner. And a lot of them aren't really standing on the balls of their feet. They're just kind of like flopping through it. Where if they were on the balls of their feet and attacked it, they could probably, you know, drop a second or two. When you come down off this jump, make sure you're, you're on the balls of your feet. Cause like AJ said, it's an extra two to three inches, maybe more of suspension. When I was younger, I didn't really believe in it. But then once I got to those rougher tracks like this, these big G outs, if you're not on the balls of your feet, if your feet are like this and you hit that, <laughs> your bike's just gonna go like that. And you're gonna basically get yanked off the bike or swap or something bad's gonna happen where it could be saved by you just being in the correct position on the bike. Great beach sand, dude. Holy cow. It's so deep up I here. underestimated how deep it was. And this it, is it, the deepest for sure. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is so deep. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna work this inside corner. I just want everyone to hit it five times the way you're, you wanna hit it. And then I'll, we'll stop, talk about it, and then we'll go the way I wanna, want you to hit it, standing up, sitting down, etc. to listen man i'm trying to tell them to stop and they're not stopping i'm seeing a lot of uh problems with the riding well okay that's deep all right now so i'm seeing a lot of the guys they're just coming in they're not setting up correctly um so we're about to do a a drill but i'm gonna trick them so because this is a right hand corner so i'm gonna tell them they have to take their foot off back here but they don't know that they can't touch the rear brake. So it's teaching them to coast into the corner and carry their momentum. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, set your bike off. So yeah, watch. We're gonna do something now and then you should be able to hit it way better. All right, so now is everyone doing the corner the way you know they would just do it if they came to ride today. So now I'm gonna go stand back there. Where I'm standing, I want your foot to be up, okay? So let's put your foot up and point that toe in. Nice, put your foot nice and high. I want it to be high back there. You're not touching your rear brake. You're coasting from there into the corner, all right? It's just about trusting yourself to not touch that rear brake, keep that foot up, and don't dab your foot. That's the whole thing. Float around the corner, don't dab your foot, and see how that works. Obviously, you don't set up for a corner way early like that. This is teaching yourself to not use that rear brake and coast, and see how the see how the bike reacts to not touching that rear brake. Because coming in, a lot of you guys were the, you're touching the rear brake about halfway, and it's upsetting the bike. I was gonna say you totally told him. I totally told him I tricked him. I didn't think. Get that foot up. Yeah. I know the legs are definitely gonna be tired. Yeah. My legs tired standing here. Yeah, Two stroke. Am I recording? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't get your hopes up. I might not jump anything if I'm not <laughs> My hopes are high, so. <laughs> One-handed drill is it is 
simply just going to show any issue that you have from the waist down or any bad habit you have period on the dirt bike is just gonna be multiplied with one hand drill. I'll demonstrate in a second or I'll send somebody out to demonstrate. Uh, you can demonstrate. <laughs> Are you not, you're good at it probably. I'll go out there with you. <laughs> that won't make it any better. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be worse. <laughs> Anybody else ever done this drill? I have. Good. Okay, you guys did it at my class at uh, in New York? I did it in your class too. At uh, what often? Um, at Winchester. AJ can't remember anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that is not false. Nothing changes technique-wise. I think what you guys are going to realize is it may become easier if you choose to leave your feet on the pegs. The goal here is to try to ride how you normally would. So that means standing up where you normally would, sitting where you would, uh, foot out where you normally would, hitting the jump how you normally would. Obviously build to it. If you guys wanna build some confidence, hit the outside lines first and then start going into the ruts. It might be a little tricky right now because the ruts have sort of got a little blown out, but I think the one hand drill will actually help that because it'll force all of you to go slow enough. The only thing you have to watch out for is head shake, but truthfully, head shake only becomes dangerous if it's too much weight on the front end. So if you find yourself in a head shake situation, just give it a little bit of throttle, right? Is suit, did anybody see me get head shake I right did, there? I did, I did, right there. And what did I do? I just accelerated yeah. and I was fine. Yeah. Every single time, everybody doubts themselves and then they all do it better than what they imagine. One of, one of these days... Do I, am I sunburned? Dude, we're both smoked. You, you are for yeah. sure. Yeah. I am too. The back of your neck is shot. Gosh darn it. I know. One of these days, I'm just gonna open up class with a one-handed drill and yeah. really throw it everybody through. Work, it, it for sure would work, but people just think I'm crazy. I Everyone's like, oh, well, the ruts are better now. Yeah, they're better because you're actually, you were riding smooth for once. So <laughs> we, we want to take that type of riding to two hands. I think people, as soon as they get both hands on and they're trying to go fast, they're going fast where you shouldn't be. Gain time where it's easy. Gain time in the straightaways, but by the time you get here, we got to be going nice, and slow so that if I say go hit that turn 100 times, you could do it 98 exactly the same. I think where the overriding happens is where like 770, you come in, like get too excited, you come in too hot, and then you blow past the entry of your corner and you're still trying to get stopped by the time you get here. And it just makes for a really tough time to be consistent in a corner, right? That's why the one-handed drill really just will smooth you out, fixes those little things, super cool. Solid day, ladies and gents. Well, this thing is really easy to put in like the low by mistake. Okay. Super solid day. Also, everybody loved Rod Bell. Yeah. And I didn't know going into this if he would be able to train or not or had any experience with it. But everybody said that he did an amazing job. So that was awesome. Weather was perfect, completely perfect. Track was unreal. I will say I'm definitely gonna do another one here again. Owner is super cool. I 100% don't need the pro track for a class because everyone was in over their heads, like myself included at times. I was like, holy crap, what is this? It was, it's insane. So we could definitely do the amateur track next time. That'll save me some money on the track rental and people won't be so scared to ride it. So thanks for watching folks. Maybe subscribe or something. Subscribe to Cam. Uh, his YouTube is... My name and below. Cameron Bushy. Is that your Instagram or YouTube? Yeah. I suppose I'll put the link below. It's, it's already there. It's already there. Yeah. And um, <laughs> all right, doodles.
Thank you.